The level crossing over the railway line at Michimisaw Station today can accommodate two lines of traffic and pedestrians on either side. But when the crossing was first put in place in 1855, it was only 14 feet wide, which was fine for the horses and carts at the time. Amazingly though, it stayed that width for over 100 years. Using a geo-reference ordnance survey map, we can actually see how wide this level crossing was. Let's start over here and just measure that line. Look at that. It was 14 feet across. In 1960, the mayor of Mitcham, Alderman Chalkley, pleaded with Alderman Ripley of the Surrey County Council for a solution to the traffic congestion at this particular bottleneck. One solution put forward was to have a roundabout built to alleviate the queuing of traffic here, which was blocking traffic going up and down Grove Road. And that's the satellite view of what that roundabout looks like today. So if you've ever wondered why there's a roundabout here, it was just an initial attempt to try and reduce the traffic that was queuing up to go through that narrow gap. The Mitcham News of Mercury reported on the 1st of September 1961 that British Railways had started part one of the scheme to eventually iron out this bottleneck at the East Falls level crossing. Workmen had begun preliminary stages towards moving the signal box. A southern region spokesman said that the work at the moment involves putting in new rod lines for the signals. The final stage will be to widen the crossing, now only able to cope with single lane traffic. The gates will be replaced with continental style lifting barriers. Southern region were, however, unable to give a definite starting date for the widening. This photograph of the two signal boxes at Eastfield was from the 24th of August 1962 edition of the Mission News of Mercury. It said, the old and the new signal boxes at the East Hills Level Crossing, one of Mitcham's worst bottlenecks. It was hoped that work on widening the crossing would be finished by this September, but due to a number of setbacks, the improvement scheme will not be completed for some time. I don't know exactly when the level crossing was widened in the 1960s. It must have been before 1968, because that's when I started at Eastfields High School and was crossing over there every day. This photograph from Eric Montague was taken in 1974. The view from the Tamworth Lane side, we can see the signal box. And this photograph I took in 2007 when the Eastfields train station was being built. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video about the Eastfields level crossing. And press that like button if you liked it. And consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. Anyway, bye for now.